So we're here in front of the, the King George V grandstand. This is a really sort of auspicious moment for me. I'm interviewing probably one of my favourite players of all time, one of Newtown's favourite sons. He started his rugby league career at Christian Brothers Lewisham and played 34 games for Newtown between 1978 and 1983. Jim Walters, it's good to have you back here at Henson Park. Lovely to be here again. Well, there'll probably be some young viewers here. I know there'll be a lot of St. Patrick's College students probably tuning into this Jets TV episode to, uh, to hear what Jim has to say. But for some of those younger viewers, give us a little bit of a uh, snapshot of your rugby league career here at Newtown. Well, it was, it was it was long. In terms of first grade games, it wasn't brilliant. But it was, but, you know, I started in 77 here. Um, I'd always been a Jets fan, obviously, you know, and came down and supported them on the hill here and running around at half time like these kids do every week down here, which is absolutely brilliant. And um, from 77 to 82, I played. Um, as you said, I think you've done your research there, Luke. That's which, right. Which is great. Always research. Always, absolutely. Always research. 34 first grade games, and I think that might be incorrect. There was more than that. I'm sure there was more than that. There's probably a couple more. There's probably a few. Left a few. Probably, probably a few more. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, as, as I, was, I was saying today to a couple of the, the Jets fans on the hill there, who guys that I, you know, grew up with and still come. Would you believe That's it? That's fantastic. We were saying that in the call earlier, that it's great, the community of the old Jets players, and it's fantastic that it's, get back here to Henson Park. It's absolutely brilliant. Like, there's nothing better than this on a Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. But I was talking to someone up there on the hill this afternoon and saying, look, the, the, the history of the Jets is a little bit, bit mis misrepresented, I think. I think there's a, there's a feeling that the Jets were always an ordinary club that didn't do very well. Whereas if you go back and you have a look, or you read Terry Williams' book, which is the history of the Jets, you'll find that that's really not the case. And it was a, it was a really strong club. Absolutely. You know, 40s, 50s, early 70s, then again in the early 80s. Um, you know, a club that could have had six, seven premierships. Um, and then again, like, the, 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 there are Newtown Gremlins, which are hit again here this afternoon, you know. A try scored <laughs> off a knock-on. That's right. <laughs> and there was a Steve Bradbury moment where a kick, a shank kick, a la Sergio right. Garcia. Oh, no, Sergio Garcia. <laughs> Red side so right, a, try, a yeah. try on half time. Yeah. I mean, literally on half time. And the, the and the Jets, the Gremlins were there again yeah, today right. for the Jets. But look, it's been a, it's been a, a big part of my life, yeah. and, I, and I love it. Absolutely. And you were part of the 1981 Grand Final side, so and not a lot of first grade players get the opportunity to play in the Grand Final. What did that mean to you, playing at that Grand Final? Well, it was it was an incredibly exciting, and uh, it was an amazing experience. Um, the fact that uh, I came on with uh, 25 minutes to go, and we led up to that point hasn't haunted me at all in my, in my but um, you know the, the, again in 81 the Jets were the, you know we were a really strong side and 25 minutes away as you know the, the legend goes 25 minutes away from uh, a premiership that I think probably would have kept us in the comp uh, you know in, the, in in 83 it was all over so I think uh, 81 was an amazing experience for someone who'd followed them all his life and got to play in a grand final with them uh, you know, all over my life that's awesome. Well, look, I know what it means to you. I think everyone here watching knows what it means to you. But Jim, look, it's been an absolute pleasure. There's a really special moment for me. You know, Jim taught me, and I actually worked with Jim as a school teacher for all, for all the punters out there as yeah. well. So look, really special. It's great to have you, know, you back at Henson Park as well. I'm sure we'll see you through the year. And many fans here at Henson Park through the year. Three o'clock.